Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is part 12 video in VCP7 data center virtualization 2020 and in this video we are going to see how to create and deploy VMware distributed switches. So the first thing we need to understand what is difference between standard and distributed switch. So basically standard switch is going to be created on uh, uh, individual ESXi host and if you having like two or three ESXi host you can create the manual uh, you can manually create the ESXi uh, uh, standard switches on ESXi host to match the configuration among all the ESXi host to so you can move migrate the virtual machine from one host to another host and other things so you you can create the identical settings on multiple ESXi host manually through the uh, uh, standard switch but if you have an uh, like more than uh, 10 or, or 10 or 20 uh, ESXi host and you want to create the identical network uh, settings on each of the ESXi host and you want to uh, avoid the basically the um, error uh, human error or anything then definitely you need to uh, create and deploy the VMware distributor switch which can manage uh, from single point of uh, um, console you can manage all your ESXi host and whenever you want you can remove or uh, basically you can uh, remove deploy or configure the distributed switcher on individual any of the ESXi host so it's going to be centralized point to manage all your uh, host uh, for the networking so we'll see um, how, how to create and deploy the VMware distributed switches and in this video so I have uh, I have created few steps which is going to be uh, very easy to understand how to create and deploy the switches so the first thing we need to discuss the technical requirement and technical comparison between the standard and uh, distributed switches so if you see this is uh, VMware vSphere standard switch versus distributed switch so the first thing you, you must need uh, the licenses so you can see the most important thing is licenses so standard switch is available for all vSphere editions so if you go with the enterprise uh, enterprise 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 edition or advanced enterprise or any of the edition standard any of the uh, stand, uh, licenses for the ESXi host or vSphere you will get the uh, uh, option to create the standard switch uh, but to create a, a uh, distributor switch you must need an enterprise edition so the management point of view you can see the instant switch needs to be managed on each individual host which we have already discussed and distributor switch provide the central management and monitoring for the network configuration on all the ESXi hosts which we have already discussed so I recommend if you having uh, multiple uh, multiple ESXi hosts in in your environment like if you have a, a if you are running a blade uh, or a churches and uh, on that particular blade you having multiple ESXi hosts and you want to match the network configuration from the VMware side you must go with the distributor switches and creation and configuration also you can see the standards uh, the standard uh, switch on the ESXi host level and distributor switch on the uh, vCenter level you can manage and you can see here layer 2 forwarding uh, and all these available basically th these are a uh, few basic things which is available in standard and dis distributed switch both but you can see the uh, inbound traffic setting is not available in uh, standard but is uh, available in the distributed switches and also VM content blocking uh, only optional at the distribution uh, distributed switches not on the standard switch and private VLAN also it's going to be available on a distributed switch only load balancing teaming network vMotion so everything is going to be available for uh, uh, basically advanced thing you can see the port monitoring else uh, LACP support, backup and restore network configuration it's going to be supported in distributed switch so definitely if you want to take the advantage of uh, more advanced thing uh, if you talk about the VMware uh, switches then definitely you go with the distributed switches so next thing uh, I'm going to discuss about my demo environment so we got few machines here so for first machine is Win2K12 uh, Win2K19 uh, DC01 which is my ActiveDuct and DNS server so if I go here this is my ActiveDuct and DNS server. You can see Win2K19 DC01, and the second machine is uh, basically our uh, basically uh, our going to be our vCenter appliance, which is uh, running uh, VMware vCenter appliance seven. So if I go on my Windows 10 console machine, 
you can see here this is my this is my INVCSS01 which is my vCenter server basically which is running on one of my ESXi hosts which is ESXi01 so we got two ESXi hosts which is ESXi01 and ESXi02 so these two ESXi I have and one of the ESXi is hosting our vCenter server itself so this is the environment and you can see the ESXi01 is here which is running VMware ESXi7.0.0 and this is also ESXi02 uh, is running VMware 7 so this is the environment so now let's discuss about the network so physical network for ESXi host so I got 8 nick on both ESXi host so if I show you you can see I got 8, uh, eight uh, network port on eight, uh, each of the ESXi hosts so 2 got uh, two got for basically 2 got for the management traffic so uh, which is going to be used distributed so for now it's it's on a standard switch which is switch 0 so I'm going to migrate in this video from a management network from this standard switch to a distributed switch and 2 for the VM network so we are going to create distributed switch for in this video for the uh, this VM network and then we have a vMotion also going to be distribu distributed switch in next video and we have already configured our uh, standard switch for the uh, uh, net uh, storage access which is iSCSI 01 and iSCSI 02 which is running on VM kernel adapter so you can see these things and we got 8 ESXi uh, 8 um, next on ESXi as well as all showing is 10 GB so this is we have verified and let's go and verify on my ESXi host so you can see physical network adapter we got 8 NIC in each of the ESXi host so you can see the physical NIC name also VM NIC 0 to VM NIC 7 so now this is the steps to or uh, step by step to create and deploy distributed switches so first thing we need to create distributed switches so I'm going on networking and here there were multiple way to create might be you can click here and just go ahead and uh, click on distributed switch and create a new switch or uh, else you can right click and just go here and create new distributed so I'm going to click new distributed switch and this is going to be a name so I'm going to call it India D switch click next and the version it's going to uh, tell you so you can select as per your requirement so uh, I'm everything uh, in my environment everything is running um, ESXi 7 so I'm going to select ESXi 7 so just click on next and then how many uplinks you want so in this video we are going to uh, have a management network and a VM uh, for the management ne network and the for the VM network so I'm going to select uh, 4 NIC from 0 to 3 so we got 4 NICs by default so I'm going to leave it default and I'm going to uh, create uh, uncheck this created default port so we are going to do it manually so just click on next and we are all ready so just click on finish so now you will see India DV switch is created so now if you click on details you can see it got one network but no ports and nothing now so I'm going to cl right click and go ahead and click the else you can go for the second task you need to rename the uplink for the distributor switch so let's go to configure and click on edit so you will see here a small button edit uplinks name so I'm going to call it like the first I'm going to call it MGMT01 and the second one is MGMT02 and VMNet01 VMNet01 and second one is going to be VMNet02 so just click on OK so we got 4 NIC 2 for the management and 2 for the VM NIC so this is good so just click on OK so now we need to do the next step which is create distributed port group for um, port group so I'm going to create the two port groups so the first one is going to be a right click on your distributed switches and click distributed port group and new port group so I'm going to call it like uh, let's call it MGMT T switch 
click next and leave the everything default just click on next and you are done and same for the other network which is going to be your VM network so new distributed port group and call it VM net and DS switch click next and click leave everything default click next and if you want to customize everything like VLAN on everything or any a particular VLAN you want to assign you can select and put that VLAN here so it will be on particular VLAN or uh, uh, individual VLAN so so for me I'm not going to select any VLAN so to make it simple and if you if you are running on an environment like on a production where you have a multiple VLAN then definitely if you are going to create this G uh, port group then you need to make it through the uh, uh, for the particular VLAN like if you are creating for 100 uh, uh, 110 VLAN so you need to mention that a port uh, when you are creating a port group you need to mention which VLAN you want so for me it's going to be a none just click on next and click on finish so you can see two, two ports scope is created and total network you can see now three so now the next task is, is I assign uplink to the distributed port groups so for that let's click here so go to configure and now if you click on edit need to go on uh, teaming and failover and you can see all four NIC which is part of this distributed is, is going to show there so I'm going to just make sure the management is going to be mapped with management DB switch uh, distributed switch a port group and the uplink is going to be a remain with that so and the VM net is going to be remain for this so just go there and edit for the VM net also so I'm going to put both management unused so click OK and now you will see this is created and one more thing you can verify if you click on your distributed switch and if you go to configure and topology you can see management's uh, t-switch port group is connected with two management network and logical which is basically logical and if you see vm vm or db port group it's connected with the vm net which we have created so this is good and now the next task is deploy ASX or deploy asxi host to uh, distributed switches so just click on that particular db switch and click on add and manage ESXi host so basically you can also migrate the virtual machines which is running on particular host so if I go with this ESXi 02 first you can see the ESXi 02 having one virtual machine which is um, Win2K19 VM01 is running on this machine so that's okay you can just click there and you can uh, basically click uh, go to the network and then right click and add and manage hosts just click on add host leave the default click next and then you need to add the host which you want to map so I'm going to map ESXi host 02 which is showing here compatible so this is good just click on ok and now you can click on next and you can see all your physical ports are going to show here so I'm going to assign uplink to these so the VM switch uh, first two ports are going to be uh, with the management NIC so which we have selected and the second two is going to be you can see what I'm mapping here so I'm mapping these four ports with the uh, management and VM net so this is good so just go and map this also here and go and map this port also so now you can see we have uh, mapped all four required ports with their dedicated uplink which uh, from the distributor switch so this is good just click on next and then we have a, a kernel network um, VM kernel adapter so I'm going to uh, migrate this management network basically to my management port group which we have created in distributed switch so it will be migrated when, when we are going to do this um, um, deployment of the distributed switch to ESXi host so this is good you can see the source port group is this management network and destination port group is this so just click on next and now 
you will see migrate virtual machine also so I got one virtual machine so I'm going to migrate this virtual machine to my VMnet switch so this is good and make sure before you might uh, do the actual deployment make sure your network connectivity with the ESXi host and everything from the network point of view is good so just click on finish now so now you will see the task here which is going to see so you the deployment of the um, network so upgrade network configuration done reconfigure distributor switch is done so everything is looking good and now if I go to here you will see some type of redundancy there uh, like network loss so this is good just need to reset to green and now if you see our ESXi host and go to networks you will see you got our uh, DB switch here and networks all the ports which we have created there you can see here it's coming and now if I go and check my virtual machine network basically you can see this virtual machine is migrated to our VMnet distributor switch we have created so now let's try to ping this virtual machine and make sure the connectivity for this virtual machine is not lost so you can see the host is connected so this is good thing so we have successfully migrated the host now I am just going to validate my virtual machine so you can see I am I am able to ping the virtual machine so this is good so we have successfully deployed uh, created the distributor switch and deployed the distributor switch on one of the ESXi hosts so similar kind of uh, deployment you can do if you have a more than 5 or uh, 10 ESXi you can do it and uh, at once or if you have an individual cluster uh, or basically which having multiple hosts you can do that also so thank so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me and my given mail IDs thank you once again bye bye